Attention concerning a woman charged in a fatal accident. Douglas County prosecutors revealed in court today she has a DUI on her record in another state. Last weekend, Lorena Laura Diaz refused to take a field sobriety test after being involved in a crash that killed 45-year-old Gary Mangiamelli. Uh, tonight, John Chapman reports and not taking the test didn't matter when prosecutors charged her with a felony. Lorena Lara Diaz, communicating with the help of an interpreter, tells the court she will hire an attorney to represent her against charges of manslaughter and failure to admit to a preliminary sobriety test. Can you afford to hire your own attorney? My family is getting one. Prosecutors say around 2.30 in the morning on March 25th, police were called to L Street and the JFK on-ramp. Officials say Lara Diaz was driving a pickup truck and hit a man driving a motorcycle. The motorcycle operator was killed in the collision. Laura Diaz remained on the scene, but refused to take a breath test. Officers observed the odor of alcohol coming from the defendant's person, but she refused uh, standard field sobriety test and the uh, preliminary breath test. In court, prosecutors told the judge further investigation showed Laura Diaz had been drinking at a nightclub from 11.30 p.m. until 1.30 in the morning. Receipts in her name indicated five separate drink purchases, and the defendant was on the video, is on video consuming alcohol. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says Laura Diaz gained no advantage by not taking the test. Our law is written specifically so you can't get an advantage by refusing to take the test. She's charged with manslaughter, which carries up to 20 years, and then she also has the refusal, which is the same as a DUI penalty-wise. Uh, it's something that counts as a DUI from an enhancement purpose down the road. Klein says the case is still being investigated, and he believes they have a strong case with the manslaughter charge. We know there was alcohol involved. It's just a question of uh, being able to prove what amount there was and if she was under the influence. But it doesn't matter. We still have her driving in a reckless manner. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. If found guilty on the manslaughter charge, Diaz could face up to 20 years in prison. She has a preliminary hearing date set for May 2nd.